Hi fans so welcome back again to all of you in the another sunday life session and today in this stress series we are going to make an animation which is silly i so in this animation we will add any sprite randomly inside the stretch editor we will add the i on that sprite and then we will write the code or the script for animating those i so we will see these things later in this session but first Before starting the session, let's see what we have learned till this session. So, till the last session, we had learned that how can you set up your stage inside the stretch editor, how can you write the code for your sprite, and also we had seen the repeat block, broadcast block for sending the message from one sprite to another sprite, and also the forever block. So, if you want to perform any action. again and again without any limitation then you can use the forever block but if you want to perform something for a certain time then you can use the repeat block and today in this silly i animation we are going to use the same block which we have learned till the last session but if you missed the last session then you can just watch the last session by clicking on this i icon so let's start the silly i animation in this stretch editor So like the earlier first of all click on this link and you can find this link inside the description of this session So first of all click on this link go to the stretch editor so again come on the slide and like the earlier first of all we will divide this project into the two section the first one is state decoration and the another one is coding so first we will decorate the stage by adding the backdrop and the sprite and then we will write the code for animating those sprites so first decorate your stage so first add the backdrop and in this session we are going to add the random backdrop So for adding the random backdrop, and also we are going to add the random sprite. So for adding the random backdrop or the random sprite, just click on this star icon. So go to the stretch editor, add the backdrop by click on this star icon. So first, delete this cat sprite because we are not going to use this sprite in this animation. and click on this option for adding the backdrop randomly now click on the star which is surprise and like this you can add the multiple backdrop so again click on this take your cursor on this option and just click on the surprise so i am doing this five times Yeah, and now we are going to add a sprite. And for adding the sprite, again take your cursor on this option, and just click on this surprise. So any sprite which will come on the stage, we will add the edge on that sprite. Yeah. So if you want to change the position of that sprite. then you can change and if you want to increase the size then you can increase by changing the value in this box and if you are not liking this sprite then you can delete it again click on the surprise yeah that's look cool and for changing the size again is change the value in this size box right so now we are done with the state decoration by adding the sprite and the backdrop so again come on the slides so we are done by adding the backdrop and the sprite Yeah. 
also we have to add the eyes so the sprite which we have added randomly on the stage now on that sprite just add the eyes so again go to the scratch editor and for adding the eyes as a separate sprite because we are going to animate the eyes then we have to add the eyes as a separate sprite so click on this option and now we are going to draw the eyes and now click on the paint option yeah so now we are going to paint the eyes click on the circle draw a circle oh delete first so draw the circle on the center point fill it with the white color and just add a one more circle inside this circle because we are making the eye again click on this option and just add this circle to the corner of the big circle so click on the select tool select it and drag it near to the circle corner and now if you want to fill the circle then just again click on it fill it with some random color if you want to change the size then you can also do it so for this again select for changing the size just drag the corner and now the eye is ready so for the second one also just click on this sprite and click on duplicate so now the second eye is also ready and just put both the eyes on the eye position on the third sprite so now we are also done by adding the eyes on the sprite so again come on the slide and now we have the three sprites one is uh, heart and the two is eyes and one is the backdrop so now for the coding we will write the code for animating all these things i sprite character sprite and also the backdrop or the background so first we will write the code for the i sprite so come on the scratch editor click on the first i sprite and when you click on this flag icon means when you start this program so first add a trigger when we click on this flag icon the eye should be moved all around based on our pointer mouse pointer so for adding the eye so that it can move all the side so just set the rotation style so go to the motion section under the code tab drag the set rot rotation style and just set the rotation rotation style to the all around and now for rotating it with the help of the mouse pointer and we have to rotate it all way so first of all add the forever block so go to the control section drag the forever block attach it below to the last block and now for adding it because we have to rotate it based on the mouse pointer so again go to the motion section and drag this block which is point towards the mouse pointer and attach it inside the forever block now click on the flag icon and see the changes on the stage
okay so we are able to rotate the eye with the help of the mouse pointer but we only have to rotate the inside part not all the part so first stop it go to the eye section now check it again yeah so now it's okay we are only able to rotate the inside part of the eye so for fixing the same problem just click on the big circle and just point it towards the center of this screen uh which we are able to detect with the plus icon so just set the big circle to the center point So first delete it and just duplicate it with the same changes and also we are able to duplicate it with the code also so first set the position of this one and now again click on the flag icon and now we are able to rotate the both of the eyes yeah that's cool and now we will add some more action like if you will click on this eye then it will change their color so for changing the color when you click on the eye at the event when this is right click this change the color with some frequency so go to the look section and there is a block with the name of change color effect by some value and do the same for the second sprite also the same i so for copy the same code in the another sprite just drag this code into this sprite so now we are able to see the same code in the second sprite also so again click on the flag icon we are able to rotate the eye and also click on the eye for changing the color yeah so if you want to change the color then just click on that point so now we are done by writing the code for the eye spray we are able to control the eye rotation using the mouse pointer and also we are able to change the color when we are clicking on that point now we have to write the code for the character spray so just add some animation in the character spray and first of all make it to the back layer so click on the spray So when flag click, just set it to the back layer. So go to the motion section. No. Yeah. So go to the look section, and there is a block with the name of go to back layer. So just set the back layer when we click on the flag. and also add some animation which is the graphic effect so when we click on this sprite so again go to the event set the when this sprite click we have to add some graphic changes with the forever block so to drag the forever block from the control section now go to the look section again and drag and drag this uh change effect block and you can change the different effect like color effect 
fish eye effect whirl effect like this etc so here i'm choosing the whirl effect to change whirl effect by some frequency when you click on this spike so just check it by clicking on this spike so it's going forever 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 but if you want to do it only one time then first of all stop this program and remove this block from the forever block now when you click on this spike then only it will change the effect by 25 frequency so again click on the flag icon each time it will change the effect with the 25 frequency and also just write the code for changing the backdrop so when you click on the backdrop we have already added the five backdrop so let's see there the five backdrops are there 1 2 3 4 5 and delete the first because it is the blank and now when we click on the backdrop it will also change so again go to the event section when this stage click go to the look section just change to the next backdrop so we have write the code for the sprite so that when we click on this sprite it will change the effect we had write the code for rotating the eye with the help of the mouse pointer in the all around direction and also for changing the color with the frequency of 25 and same for the second eye so now let's see the program by click on the flag icon by using the all features by rotating the eye changing the color of the eye by adding the graphic effect on the sprite and by changing the backdrop also yeah that's cool and like this you can add the multiple backdrop and you can add any sprite and add the edge on the sprite and just animate so if you want to play it again just stop the icon click on the flag icon and that's it So come again on these slides. So now we are done by writing the code for the eye sprite, character sprite, and also for changing the backdrop when you click on the stage. So thank you, champs. So that's all about the today's session, and see you soon on the next Sunday. Bye.